Hey there, it's Minecraft Grand, the Geeky Minecrafter, bringing you another episode in the Let's Play series. Today I'm all alone, uh, and I've been, as you can tell, been working here around the house. Uh, I am still in my hobbit hole, but I have a few resources gathered up here. As you can see, I planted uh, initially just the seeds. Now we have some carrots, got some pumpkin and melon, some sugar cane, and I captured a couple of uh, pigs. Got them in here and started breeding them. And as you can see, we've been breeding for a while. So I'm building it up. Now, I don't know why I'm doing this. Uh, <laughs> I prefer cooked chicken or cooked fish. Uh, but maybe somebody will want some, uh, some pig. So you never know. Okay, so I have begun here just a little bit on the hobbit hole. I don't remember where we left off in the last episode. Uh, I do know that we talked about... Uh, you know, how I normally mine, I mine straight down. Uh, and then I did show, I believe, and if not, I'll do it really briefly, I did show that I came in here and hit a double spider spawner. Now, I actually think, uh, see, this is down below my fish farm. I'll show you that in just a second. I actually think there's another spawner right over there because when I'm down in here, I'm hearing just crazy numbers of, uh, mobs. I mean, like zombies for days. Uh, oh yeah, and see, look, there's witches. I don't want to be in there. Come on, step in again, honey. One more time. Tease me. Go ahead, tease me. Walk through there. One more time. Come on, witch. Come on. You know you want some. See, it'd be my luck she'd hit me with a potion. And I don't have a cow over here. I'd found a cow, made a lead, brought it over here, put it on the fence post outside, and either the cow broke the lead and wandered away, or somebody went, oh, look, a cow, and took it from me. I, I don't know which. Um, I'll find another one. Let's see what we have over here. See what I'm saying? They just keep coming out of in there. And I, I've been back there. There's nothing there. So I think there must be a spawner right on the other side of that wall. That's the only thing I can figure. Um, yeah, yeah, they're making me nervous. Here, I'm just, uh, do I have anything to block it off with? I have a piece of stone. Yeah, don't want the stone lady or the witch lady throwing stuff at me. So anyway, I'm going to show you the fish farm in just a second. I also created a uh, a uh, timer clock and a dispenser. Okay, so when I'm ready to like throw away all the things that I fished out, I've, I've you know I fished, it filled up the chest, and I go pull out what I want. Uh, I have a switch I can throw that'll send everything else through this hopper and then it'll drop it down into lava. So if you've never seen one of these, this is the mechanics for it. So that's the dropper. The dropper's pointing down into lava. There is a comparator, a repeater here, and a repeater here, redstone all the way around, and that does the job. Okay, uh, let's see, let's go back up. Somebody's asking if I really am a granny. Yes, I'm a granny. I promise I'm a granny. Um, so this is the new design for the fish farm. It's it's really small. Uh, it's four deep this way. Uh, two of them are four deep and two of them are three deep. I have a chest in there. Actually, I think the original design called for just one chest. I did extend it and make it two. This hopper points into the chest. You stand right here and you fish over this pressure plate. Uh, here we go. You aim for the note block kind of right up there. And you just AFK. Now I rebind my keys so that my right mouse becomes more like my up arrow. Uh, and then I have a little tripod, a weighted tripod that I set down on my laptop 
and it points that or it presses that up arrow key for me and it allows me to fish AFK. Um, and then I just come in and of course anything that goes in here uh, goes down into my storage. Let's get down in there. Oh, see, here we go. Oh, come on. I don't know why I have so much trouble with ladders. So that's the top chest. That's the hopper. And then I've just got a chain that goes down to here. This is the bottom one in the sequence. And then down below, um, I set up that that uh, clock I was showing you. Come on. Why, why do... <clears throat> Ladders really give me grave. Here we go. So this is that bottom chest right up there. You can see those things pulling in. I must have just captured that name tag. Now, these are things that I use during building and, you know, a couple of things that I have found. Um, I have my anvil down here, but what how this works is if I flip this switch, everything that's in that bottom chest, or, you know, everything that's in that whole chest line begins dropping into this uh, hopper or dispenser, and that goes down into lava. So I fish for a while, and then I come in and I empty it out. Let me just throw this crap back in here. Um, that'll do it. So I fish for a while, and then when I'm ready to go fish again, I turn this, make sure it's down, and then I can go do my AFK. Now, like I said, I'm 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 at down in this mine, and, and as you can see, it's everywhere. It's all over here. Uh, I'll show you going down to the main part of the mine. Um, we passed through it several times. Oh, here is part of the tour. This is my automated chicken cook cooker. Uh, I built this a number of times in various servers, so I'm not going to build it again on camera. I've, I've built it a whole bunch of times. But basically, you just put chickens up in here. Uh, they lay eggs into a hopper. The hopper sends it into a dispenser. The dispenser fires when uh, an egg hits, and it throws the egg, and sometimes it makes chickens, and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, as you can see, I've been down here AFK for a while, and I have a, a number of chicken. So that's my AFK chicken farm and it's close enough that it's activated by my AFK fish farm. So uh, here's more of that mine. Here's There's more of that mine behind that wall. Here's more of that mine here and here goes across. I mean this mine is all through here. Oh, I'm here in Skelly. So if I haven't brought you all the way down here, I know Talon and I began working on the mine during the last episode. Uh, we went through this ravine, remember this, and then just kept going down. I have I have managed to build up my enchant area, and this is the mine. So I tend to overbuild, <laughs> you know, because you need a lot of resources to to build with. So. Uh, I started uh, this three wide chamber right down the center. These slits are every three and I do two levels, the one down there at six and the one up here at 11. Uh, they go down about 150 blocks that way and then they hit a two wide chamber at the other end. And then I do the same thing back this direction, okay, another 150 this direction. And what I was going to show you, and this is what we will probably do today. Okay, so I've begun um, begun the mine and did the math and found that the back side of the mine actually hits, let me show you, uh, comes out right near the entrance to, or the exit to the hobbit hole. So right up here as we start down, let's do in here, right here. Okay, so these coordinates are uh, 1010 and, and 456, or actually it's, it's uh, negative 450, 448.9 and 450. So the back side of the mine lands right there, so I'm actually going to dig down uh, and then extend the mine. So you should be seeing a graphic on your screen right now of, of how the mine lays out. So here in the center, is going to be, it's currently three wide, but I'm going to expand it to to five wide. Then these two on either end will be three wide, 
and then these three on the outer edges will be too wide. So my goal is my navigation, because listen, my sense of direction is terrible. Uh, if I can't tell where I am in the mine, I'm, you know, you'll never find your way out. It's like 500 blocks to get from one end to the other. You don't want to go 500 blocks and discover you went the wrong way. So by doing it in this way with the five, three, and twos, uh, and the torches on the right going away from the main shaft and on the left, you know, of course, coming back to the main shaft, uh, should make my navigation pretty easy. So that's the plan. Uh, I thought I'd bring you in here for this. Let me let me get tooled up. Let me throw this uh, fishing pole down. Uh, I'm gonna need a little bit of building stuff. Um, let's see. I don't need this. This is just. Let's put this in here because you know I'll, I'll do something with this in a minute. I I don't want to carry it. Uh, oh here, let me have this back. Sorry, sorry. Let me have this back. I I have a chest going upstairs just for food. Um, so if you're on the Everneath server and you're hungry and you're near my base, you have my permission to come in and get what you need to survive the night, okay? Uh, there's plenty of food in here, so come by and get what you need uh, and don't worry about it. And if you do want to throw an iron bar or, or you know something that I'm missing in here, like slime, I you can never have enough slime. If you want to throw that in my chest, that'd be great too, but it's not a requirement. Uh, let me see. I just want here. This will do. So I don't need the dirt. This is just kind of a miscellaneous. I'm trying to get organized, and, and it doesn't help when I'm not the only one in the chest. And my grandchildren, I love them, uh, but they're not OCD, and I am. So we wind up not having what we need. Uh, let's see. Am I going to need gravel? You know what? I'm going three wide, so probably not. Okay, so... <clears throat> I know Daedalus says, real men mine straight down, uh, but I'm not a man. <laughs> so I'm going to do this the safe way to get all the way down. Let's do this. Yep, this is looking good. I'm just going to do it from the outside in. Uh, again, I'm, I'm a scaredy cat. I, I know I'm wearing diamond armor, and I do have some enchants on it, but it's, it's not my ideal. It's what I, I'm going to call like a starter kit. So I am going to put um, a little bit of light going down here. My goal when we get down here is I'm going to put a water drop in. Um, the idea being, you know, I can just really quickly drop in and then port myself back up with a water elevator going the other direction. Did it pick it up? It only picked up one. Weren't there? There were like four. What happened to those? Do you saw that, right? <laughs> uh, I don't believe that, but okay. I think I got gypped. Okay. Minecraft Grand, that's not what you that's not what you mine with. Let's just go here. I may speed this up. This is kind of boring. Now my reason for doing this three wide is I want one area for the ladder coming back up. I want two for the water drop so I don't worry about hitting the sides. Um, and so what I'll do is I, when I get all the way down here, I'll put a ladder going up that side of the wall so I can get back quickly. And then these two on this right side will be for the drop. Uh, and I know you've seen this. I do this on every one of my mines. Um, you just use a bucket of water and a ladder and um, a little stopper right above you and, and you know, it. It allows you, oh, here we go. Okay, this one's gonna drop. Oh no, good. Okay. Oh, didn't mean to go that last one. Okay, let's just make sure I'm here alone. I am. Okay, so that's the channel. Hmm. 
Hmm. I probably put the water drop on this side and put the ladder up on that side. So, do I have any? No. And where's my nearest crafting table? All the way back at the front of the mine. Okay, now I did outline this this path. It goes all the way back to the main chamber. Uh, oh, there's a crafting table right there. Oh, but I don't have wood on me. Okay. Um, I use a lot of sand or gravel to get through lava. And I'm not the only one mining in here, as you can see. I, I tend I cover my voids. Uh, my grandchildren do not. Love you, MC Lego lover and Raven Dragon, but dudes, fill in the voids. Okay, I think I have some. I have one, but I have enough to make some more. Really? I know I made another one of these, I just didn't take it down there. Okay, let's do this. Oh, I should just do this. I need a bunch. 28's not going to do it because we are at level. We're at 11 now. Um, the top is at 74, I think. So I need, I need more wood. Hmm. Okay. Well, I've been harvesting trees right out here. See, I've been growing them in here on my little stack of, uh, uh, one stack of dirt. So let's go get some more. And by the way, the, the mobs will drop in on me here because I am kind of out in a chamber. So I like to come in here when I first come through, not when I've been down here a while, because they tend to start you know, spawning in. You've been down here a while. Okay. Now at this point, see it'll start dropping these. There's two. Let's put this right here. Come on, give me three more. I need three more. Come to mama. Up. Oh, did you hear him? I heard him. Let's get a tool out here. Did you hear it? Where'd he go? I heard you. Okay, well, let's not Snape or er, Minecraft brand. Stop playing with the with the zombies. Get on with your your work. So. Just grabbed a little bit of wood there so I have enough to make more. So, 33. See, I'm doing pretty good down there. One, two, three, four. You know what? Let's just do them all. Make some more ladders. Sixty-four, twenty-seven. Yep, that should be enough. Okay, so let's put this other stuff back up. These, uh, you know, I'll just leave them right here for now. Uh, I'll get my hot bar set back up again. This stays here. I'm gonna need these. Now, I don't know about you, <laughs> but I don't want to. Uh, build the ladders going down just in case I fall. So I'm going to head back down here. And go up with the ladders instead of down. You know, like I said, I'm a scaredy cat. And I'm allowed. I'm a grandmother. I'm fragile. I don't want to fall and hurt myself. <laughs> you believe that, right? So we're almost there. Yeah, I've, I've encountered a lot of lava in this area. I got to say, it's it's been crazy how much lava, uh, lava I've found and how much uh, gravel I've gone through trying to uh, 
save it. Okay, so we're going to want a ladder here. Okay. And a ladder here, right? Or no, I did it wrong. Okay, so that's going to stop it. That's going to stop it. That's going to stop it. So bucket of water here. Right. Okay. So if I miss aiming for that one little block, hopefully the ladder will slow me down enough that I don't die. Uh, so let's, let's go all the way back up and then we'll test it. I'm going to take my diamond stuff off just in case. Uh, I don't know if you remember when I was on the Archimon server, I had done this before and hadn't tested it and wound up, um, come on, wound up dying, fell and dying. Oh, I'd like to answer you, hon. Give me just a second to get to the top and then I will. Um, so yeah, I, I landed with all my diamond armor, everything. Fortunately, I'd already set my bed point. And I was able to get down there very quickly, but boy. Okay, so yes, I am. Okay, so. Mm. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do it. Huh. You know, the mechanics have changed. Um used to be though I mean you just fell right through the water maybe it's oh you know what I bet that needs to be a sign not a yeah 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 let's go let's go get a sign uh, if I'm if I'm remembering my mechanics right the ladder is what stopped me uh, or oh, I don't know you know what let's try it that's all we can do. We can just try it. Right? I got to put some stairs there. That's not working for me. Um, let's see. Do I have enough wood up in here? Because I left all that other stuff down there. I just need, like, I don't need a bunch. Just give me some. Probably have a sign. Uh, we'll put it there. Okay. So again, I like being able to travel quickly to and from the bottom of my mine. I did. I did leave the water, right? I did. Huh. Okay. So let's pick up the water. Oh, I didn't bring my hatchet. Okay. Let's do that. Let's put a sign right here. We're going to say stop because that's our goal. Uh, you know what? We'll take this out, put one more in, and I'm, I'm going to get rid of that one. Okay? So I believe. Oh, I like it. Let's try it. I don't have to go all the way down to try it, right? All the way up, I mean. Well, I need more water anyway. So we'll run get some water. We'll test it out. And then if that works, we're going to call this episode. Um, I got one important thing done that has been on my to-do list for a while. Uh, as you can see from how deep my mine is, uh, I'm down here a lot mining. And I'm having to run the long way every time, and it's just really not working for me. Okay. Let's go test it and then call it. Okay. Hmm. Well, okay. I am open to suggestions okay 
if you know why this mechanic has changed or if it has changed and I'm, I'm just misremembering it, uh, it's one or the other. I believe that the mechanic, it used to be you just had a single water block and you fell through. What it did was it, it stopped your momentum and it only counted one, two, three, four blocks that you were falling. So you took the damage from four blocks instead of from, you know, the very top. So if you know the mechanics for that, please feel free to let me know. Otherwise, uh, I'm just going to experiment with it. Maybe a, two signs or I, I don't know. I feel like the ladder is slowing me down. I know that when you fall, here I'll show you. Let me step out. And it's, oh, it's, I didn't move back fast enough. Actually, that might work. Just hit the water and then move over. Okay, so... Either way, I've got a quick exit, I've got a quick up, uh, and that works for me. Uh, I'm going to go back to mining because I need a lot of resources. I haven't begun really building my base yet. All I've done is put together the minimum resources I need to survive and build uh, and mine. Okay, I mean, you, you got to have torches, you got to have, you know, diamond enchanted armor uh, or tools so that you can efficiently mine and I do have some pretty good tools as you can see here I have a silk touch mending I have an efficiency for shovel mending I have a bane of anthropods with knockback and looting I have a fortune 3 pick with mending that's also efficiency 4 and I have an unbreaking mending efficiency 4 so I've got some pretty good tools which does make mining easier uh, but you know you still got you still got a lot of stuff going on, right? So that's it. This is uh, episode 70. This is Minecraft Grand, the geeky Minecrafter. Thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to smash that like button. Believe it or not, it helps. Uh, if you didn't like the video, I'd like to know why. Is there something I could be doing differently? Because, you know, I make these videos for, for my grandkids. I make them for me because I enjoy making them. Uh, and if I'm doing something that you don't like, I'd like to know. Let me fix it. So, till next time, happy mining. Mm -hmm.